Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Our Heavenly Father, we come before your throne where you all kindly speak eloquently of your mercy. Thank you, Lord of hosts, for the breath of life upon our beloved President and our leader who is based on you today. Lord, grace this important occasion. Help our newly appointed leader. Bless her. And bless her with good, healthy, more wisdom and divine capacity to save our great nation with paramount love, integrity, wisdom and also dignity of oh, Father God to our, to our Supreme Leader, the President, and the people of Zambia. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow her, Jehovah, in our good works. In Jesus' precious name I've prayed. Amen. Amen. Swearing in ceremony, Wednesday, 10th June 2024, State House, Lusaka. Mr. President, the Constitution of Zambia Amendment Act Number 2 of 2016 empowers you, sir, to appoint office holders in accordance with respective articles of the Constitution. In exercise of the state powers, it pleased you, Mr. President, to appoint the Minister to save the government and the people of the Republic of Zambia. Mr. President, the appointed official is before you this morning and is ready to take the oaths. Mr. President, I present before you Honorable Princess Kasune MP, Minister, Ministry of Justice. May I therefore seek your permission, Mr. President, to proceed to administer the oaths. Permission granted. Thank you. Administration of the oath papers. I'll now call upon Honorable Princess Kasune to come to the podium to take your oaths. May I ask that you have the Bible in your right hand and please raise your right hand as you take the two oaths, that is the oath of office and the oath of allegiance. We will start with the oath of office. I, Princess Kasune, having been appointed cabinet minister, do swear that I will well and truly serve the Republic and the President of Zambia, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the President and the Republic of Zambia, and I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of Zambia as by the law established, and that I will, do, I will not directly or indirectly review or transmit such information or matter as shall be brought under my consideration, or shall be made known to me by reason of my office, except as may be required in the discharge of my duties as such or with authority of the president. So help me God. Thank you very much. We will now proceed to the next oath, which is oath of allegiance. Again, please raise your right hand as you take the oath. I Princess Kasune, do swear that I will be faithful 
and their true allegiance to the President of the Republic of Zambia, and I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of Zambia as by law established. So, help me God. Thank you very much. I will now ask you to come forward to sign both of your oath papers and hand them over to Mr. President for his endorsement. Thank you very much. It is now my honor and privilege to invite you, Mr. President, to address the newly sworn in Honorable Minister and the nation at large. Mr. President, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning, colleagues. You may recognize my cabinet colleagues that are present here, and also Secretary of the Cabinet and your team, public sector, of course, Attorney General, and uh, also other senior government officials. Um, recognize uh, the one who's been appointed, Honorable Kasune, and if there are relatives here that are present, media, um, we will be brief today. Uh, I've had some conversations with her um, offline and before she took this role and uh, so there's not much to say to her other than to congratulate you and uh, to expect you to do the best, um, the very best. As I said last time I had addressed the press here that we to be kinja, we to be kinja. We cannot continue operating the same way, no. We all have to now deliver for the people. And I also repeat what I said in Livingston for the media, that uh, going to the office eight hours, nine hours, whatever time, knocking off 18, 17, 18, 19 hours, does not constitute work. I call it hanging around. Because everybody can go to the office for years, but when you look at what deliverables they've achieved, zero. But they're earning a salary, public money for that matter, but they've not delivered much. They've not issued a license for water harvest, Wama. They've not issued a license for an investor, Zema. They have not registered in a business. They have done literally nothing but hang around. DCs, uh, I see a DC there. Don't hang around in Chibombo there. Don't hang around. Get to see how food distribution is going on to save the people. That's work. So madam, you've got a message through the examples I've used. I expect that your family, family, you will support her. Please don't put too much strain on her. She's, a, she's got a lot of work. And I say to the colleagues in cabinet, give your colleagues support. Let's work as a team. Permanent secretaries, the processes are important. The laws are important. But neither of these should store the work and lead to no delivery. Zero. I know what ministers say to me that no, no, we can't move forward because the PSCs, the directors are saying this. No. If there's a law standing in the way of delivery, we shall amend that law. Other than the constitution, which will be amended when the Zambian people so wish. But nothing should stand in the way of delivery. Nothing. It's not hung around. So that's my message to her to all of us in this room. Ministers, since you are a provincial minister, 
the president has asked you to do a checklist of deliverables, even as a promise. You will hand over that to this, your successor there. There, you will inherit what the Minister of Justice was doing. You will look at it, you will improve it, and PSCs be supportive. The Minister is female, new Minister. The two PSCs are female. So you will have no reason to blame men for non delivery. <coughs> I shall repeat, the minister is female, the two PSs are female. Because sometimes you don't know that we are being bullied around by men. So I'm testing how this ministry will operate where you are all one. But we are one. But sometimes you like segregation. So let's not work on that basis. Let's work on delivery. And there will be no excuse to say because the team is female. We expect the female team to excel to support each other, respect each other, professional respect. We don't have to have a love affair with each other. We just need to respect the sacred ground. What is that sacred ground? Service to the people of Zambia. Finish. I come from a partnership background myself. I ran a firm with 18 partners, all of whom are shareholders. And you respect them for their skill. You respect them for the difference that they bring from you and you what you bring to them. Simple. You coordinated, you got a job done. Why is it difficult in government? It shouldn't be. All oh, the skills are there. Where we don't have the skills, we buy them in. We buy them in. We now bring Zambians in the diaspora. Just to give you an example. The PS in defense, we brought him from the diaspora. He was living in Scotland. The chief executive of NAPSA, Mwenga, I brought him out from New York, from Washington, actually. And I told Mwenga, when you win, we want you back home. He's here. Friday, we had a meeting with Cobalt. And they and us agreed that they will search for Zambians, cobalt mine, cobalt Mingomba mine. They will bring citizens from the diaspora. And Friday they presented these citizens they brought, including the chief executive, who is female, the first chief executive of a mining house, a big mining company, or resource at least, is a young female. Just by chance, she comes from that part of the mining sector, Cobalt Road, Northwestern, just by chance. But she's a female. They brought out a mining expert, expert from Saudi Arabia. They brought him back. They brought out many other people. So I am saying, if we can't find the skill set within ourselves, we shouldn't be shy. We must reach out. And that skill set will help maintain jobs, expand jobs. I know the media don't pay attention to these business issues. These are the ones that will bring jobs to our people. Delivery. That's my message today. Let's go out and do the work. Let's not hang around. Let's work on deliverables. Kwame, thank you. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.